and we're back. For me, it's only been a second. For well, for you, it'll just be a matter of hitting the next page. So we have another ten to fifteen minutes. So let me show you what I got the wool for. Place two and bed. We can place down a bed. Beds are interesting. Well, what's interesting now is I've got myself stuck. There we go. I've definitely got to get a bigger roof on this. Okay. We are in a tiny, tiny room. Generally, you want to make a shelter bigger than this. I was just in a hurry. There is a bit of a bug in that if the bed is right next to a wall and there's not light on the other side, a monster can spawn indoors when you're sleeping and wake you up. But I have my sword. So if that happens, we're prepared. Okay. What can I craft? I already made all the default tools. I mean, you can also make a farming thing, which we won't need yet. We need grass seed for that. If we got sand, can't make much with. No, that's not going to make much with. What I can show you is an alternate way of getting coal. You just place logs up here and something that burns down here. One plank goes through one unit. A burn time. Two, three, four, five. Let's turn all these logs into five units of charcoal. And here is a piece of charcoal. It's not the same as natural coal in that it doesn't stack, but in every other regard they're the exact same. And one unit of coal will go through eight units of burn time. Actually, planks burn a little longer than one unit of burn time. I think. Anyway, there's different types of saplings that do different types of trees. They all have the same shape, difference is the color. We have more wool, but that's going to be pretty useless to us for now. Coal's done. Don't need this. Actually, let me show you something. The rows you could turn into dye. Dye you can use on wool. So I can make red wool. In fact, let's go ahead and do that. Nice. Alright, bed's still in the way. Why is that out here walking? I can't see you so much through the doors, but it's still scary. Carpet. Hmm. You know what? I don't want anything spawning on me. That probably won't actually stop it, but you can try. Okay, well, that's everything I can do for tonight, so sweet dreams. Sleep with a sword under a pillow. And nothing. It is morning. Good. There's a couple different types of monsters which we might be able to see. Green things we do not want to be near. They don't burn in sunlight. Most other types of monsters do. Creepers like to hide behind things. They like to surprise you. When they see you, they charge at you silently. Oh, there's a spider. Spiders are peaceful. 
Oh yeah, creeper sauce. I'll explain spiders in a bit. For now, they hiss and then explode. Why is that I hear? Whoa! No, no, no. Get back. Okay. That was scary. Creepers are dangerous. They will blow up whatever you have made. They like to hide behind things and then come around a corner at you. And you will, most of the time will not hear them until they hiss at you. That was the first time I've ever heard a creeper actually walking up at me. Anyway, spiders are peaceful until you get too near them. Or attack them. And they drop string. String can later be used to make fishing rods and bows. I'm wondering if I can kill a creeper before it ex explodes on me. Come on, one more hit. Yes! They drop gunpowder, which you can later use to make explosives. It is much safer to take a creeper on with a bow. As you can see, they blow up big chunks of land and big chunks of health. Well then, let's just... Ooh, a pumpkin. I'm a pa I am a happy pumpkin lizard man. But that'll get annoying after a while. Okay, here's some more coal for us to pick up. We're going to need all the illumination we can get. Because we're going to be exploring one of those caves in the next video. It's not quite time to end this one. But, yeah, let's keep going and gathering resources. And exploring. And then... Later you can suggest things for me to do or build, and I will try to do whatever the user base wants. Yeah, there's our wood structure down there. Looks like snow over here. Trees out that way. Something tells me that might be a way I want to explore later. Oh yeah, Tall Grass is a recent addition. I'm playing Minecraft 1.6.6 and Tall Grass is what now drops grass seed. You just have to bust up enough of it and eventually it'll drop some. Here's some. And I'll use that later on once I've got a bucket. Bones, arrows. Once I got a bucket, so I can actually make some farmland. But we can actually grow food. We'll need a little more of those, so let's go ahead and pick up some. Arrows will be useful when we have a bow and bones. Well, you'll see what they're useful for in a bit. But for now, let's just keep going. Yeah, we'll be going down there in the next video. Um, why am I standing near... I need to be out exploring and fall damage. Is this... Ooh, another... Whoa. Y'all just run. Run from there. Did you 
hear that cage sound? Yeah. Let's just get far away from there for now. We are totally not prepared. Ow. You can actually suffocate under sand. I'm gonna go back and show you one more thing before I end the video. And that is how to cook. Just like you smelt anything else, you just set it on fire. Including if you set pigs on fire, you can actually get cooked pork chops. Okay, just to compare. Raw pork chop heals 1.5 hearts. Cooked heals 4. Cooked pork chops are one of the better ways to get healing. There's other ways, but this tends to be the earliest, best trade-off. Pigs are pretty common, and that's a pretty big health boost. With fishing rods, you can get a little more reliable for less healing. And then farming gets you the really reliable grain for bread, which gets you a lot very quickly. It doesn't heal a lot, but... It's a good way, it's a good consistent way to get food once you're actually settled some. Let me fix up this house a little before not falling before I end the video. We're taking out this wall. We want to extend it back so we don't wake up with a creeper next to us. Not much because this is just our temporary shelter. Although I could turn it into something big later. What we really want to do is find a really neat place to set up a more permanent shelter. And we'll keep moving around and building new things. But for now, that seems good. Night is going to fall, so we're going to be going for a cave, so we'll, night won't matter. up back here and let's set up the bed now we can actually move around without getting stuck and nothing is going to spawn right on us torch is going to go here oh here you can see that these two don't stack in fact let's go ahead and get some sticks some torches. Okay, that might be enough, or well, should be enough for a casual trip into a cave. Plus, we can actually make torches on the way, because we have wood. We can do this with to get sticks, and we can use any coal we find down there. So that's good. And you can see everything we have. That pumpkin was a good find. That's pretty rare. Woo. Yeah, I'm not going to wear that because they get annoying. Okay, so we're about out of time, so I'll end it here. I will see you in a couple days after you comment and I can see what you want. See you later.